So, how do you get a faster return on your investment on your solar array? It's really hard to say uh, how long it takes for any individual solar array to pay off. I mean, frankly, if you live in Hawaii, your return on investment is much quicker than if you live here in Texas, where, uh, frankly, energy prices aren't as high as maybe they should be. For me, I mean, I look at it and I say, well, the average family spends about $1,800 a year that's according to the EIA, about $1,800 a year on gasoline. And obviously this is being recorded in February 2016. Gas prices are at a historic low. They're about as low as they were in 2007 during the recession. Um, and, and so it's hard to make a compelling case for electric cars when gas prices are so low without resorting to the externalities, without resorting to the pollution that gasoline powered cars cause without resorting to the fact that you're sitting at a gas station and you're pumping gasoline and you're breathing benzene and toluene and ethyl benzene and xylene. Without going there, um, it, it's a little bit more difficult when gas prices are this low, but it's still possible to make the case for electric cars if you install solar because for every dollar that you spend at a gas station, you've eliminated that expense from the family budget completely if you have electric cars. So imagine this, imagine spending $1,800 a year on gasoline. You're probably spending somewhere between $1,600 and $2,200 a year on electricity, depending on where you live and your energy consumption needs. I mean, that would turn your return on investment on a solar array from eight years or nine years or 10 years to five years, or maybe even get it down to four years if you eliminate your gas bill with electric cars. And at a four year return on investment horizon, knowing that this solar system that you install on your home or in your backyard on a ground mounted array, knowing that it will pay off in five or six years, I mean, that starts to make a little bit more of a compelling case than a 10 year horizon on the return on investment. The panels are warranted for 25 years. Your inverters are warranted probably for 10. Uh, you know, you might have to replace the inverters before you replace the panels. And if you think about it, once you've crossed that threshold to where you've made your money back in that five or six or seven year time span, especially with the electric cars and you're reducing it to five or six years, uh, all of a sudden it's, it's free electricity and it's free electricity for life. So by all means, if you, uh, if you think that gas prices aren't going to go back up anytime soon, you know, and, and you're not worried about the environment at all, um, I don't think I can make the greatest compelling case for electric cars at this period in time. Maybe, but probably not. But when you combine it with solar from your rooftop so that you can avoid going to the gasoline stations completely, that becomes a much more compelling situation. Here's a golf cart, Fisker Karma, Chevy Volt, Nissan Leaf, one, two, three, four, five Teslas, a Chevy Volt, a BMW i3, a Volt, another i3, a Leaf. A Tesla, a Tesla, Cadillac ELR, two more Leafs, yet another Tesla, a Mitsubishi iMiv, three red volts in a row, and a silver one with its hood up, a uh, plug-in Prius, a uh, Miles EV, and look, some more Tesla. Sunshine.